Cinderella, a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young lady called Cinderella. She was always good and kind. Cinderella lived with her mean stepmother and her two ugly stepsisters. The stepsisters were rude to Cinderella and made her do all of the work. They were forever laughing and jeering at Cinderella. Look at her dirty clothes. Look at her shoes. They are so tattered. If Cinderella didn't get everything done, the sisters would beat her. One day, a special invitation arrived at the door. It was an invitation to the prince's ball. The ugly sisters were very excited, but Cinderella knew she would not be allowed to go to the ball. <clears throat> In the days before the ball, the sisters spent all of their time choosing dresses and ordering Cinderella to help them. Cinderella had to work harder than ever to get the sisters ready. Cinderella, iron my dress again. You didn't do it well enough, they complained. Clean my shoes, fix my hair, help me into this dress, they demanded. After spending the day of the ball busily cleaning and getting the sisters ready, Cinderella felt exhausted and sad. I wish I could go to the ball, she softly cried to herself. In the next moment, there appeared a lovely old lady with a fairy wand in her hand. Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother and I am going to help you get to the ball. First, you must go pick a golden pumpkin, then find six mice, a rat, and eight lizard lizards and bring them all to me. Cinderella searched and brought the items to the fairy godmother. The fairy godmother turned these into a golden coach, six grey horses, a coachman who was to drive the coach, and eight footmen. The fairy godmother waved her wand and turned Cinderella's tattered clothes into a silver dress. On her feet were the most delicate pair of glass slippers that she had ever seen. Cinderella couldn't believe her eyes. Godmother, you have been so kind, said Cinderella, thankfully. But do not forget this, Cinderella, said the fairy godmother. You must leave the ball before the clock strikes midnight. <clears throat> when Cinderella stepped out of the golden coach at the ball, everyone gasped. She was beautiful. The prince immediately asked her to dance, and they danced all night away. In fact, the prince would not dance with anyone else. Cinderella was having a wonderful time and she forgot about the fairy godmother's warning. Suddenly, the clock struck midnight. Cinderella gathered up her beautiful dress and ran down the castle stairs. On the way, she tripped and one tiny glass slipper fell off her dainty foot. Cinderella ran all of the way home as the coach, the coachman, the footman had all disappeared. The next day, Cinderella was kept busy cleaning the house and the wash and washing the sisters' clothes. <clears throat> a knock was heard at the door. It was the prince who was holding a tiny glass slipper. It was the, the one that Cinderella had dropped on the stairs. I am here to find the beautiful owner of this slipper. It was left at the palace last night. When I find her, I will marry her, he announced. The ugly sisters rushed to try on the slipper. Each sister tried, but their feet were too big. Please, whispered Cinderella, may I try it on? The ugly sisters laughed at her. However, the prince insisted everyone in the land must try it on. I will not rest until I find the beautiful girl who wore this glass slipper. Cinderella put her dainty foot into the glass slipper and it was a perfect fit. Suddenly, the fairy godmother appeared and touched Cinderella with her magic wand. Instantly, Cinderella was dressed as she had appeared at the ball. The ugly sisters were shocked. The prince and Cinderella married soon after. Because Cinderella was so kind, she invited the ugly sisters to her wedding. Cinderella and her prince lived happily ever after.